All right, so I recently got this $160 Nike Forward hoodie, and I wanted to tell you guys kind of about what this hoodie is. Do I like it? How does it feel? Is it warm? All those type of things. Hopefully you guys find this video somewhat informative. I've done videos on like Nike Tech Fleece in the years past, Nike Tech Knit, and this is kind of like the next evolutionary step for Nike and its apparel line. And the reason why I say that is because it's made with sustainable materials. If you guys are interested in buying any of the Nike Forward apparel uh, from their line, I will go ahead and link all of the stuff that's still available in the description below. But let's get into some information about what this actually is. Everyone always says less is more and we're putting that idea into action. Enter Nike Forward, a futuristic material made from ultra thin needle punch layers that like us have come together to create something new. Compared to their traditional knit fleece, the inaugural Nike Forward collection requires an average of 75% less carbon to create. Today it's a hoodie and tomorrow it could be anything. Crafted using an ultra futuristic and reductive needle punching process, this collection's garments feature raw edge pockets, exposed seams, and other intentional design choices that help generate less waste in the manufacturing process and pave the way for future circularity. Assembled from multiple ultra thin layers, each level of Nike Forward is designed for a specific function like warmth or softness. These layers are variable and can be fine tuned given the material's different performance benefits. For example, the inaugural collection uses a Thermofit ADV layer to keep you warm and cozy. Nike Forward drapes in an incredibly crisp structural way, meaning that pieces made from this futuristic material can serve as both statement and staples. Dress them up or down and all around your wardrobe, they'll shine wherever you take them. They break in over time. Each Nike Forward garment is designed to break in as you wear it. Make plenty of memories in it, it's built to be worn to perfection. If you take care of it, it will take care of you. Which leads you to another page that actually gives you information about how to take care of your garment. It's soft, warm, super lightweight to keep you looking fresh for years to come. It's essential to keep a few simple product guidelines in mind. It says wash your Nike forward garments in cold water. This is a key to preserving the material structure and prevent shrinkage. Lay your Nike forward garments flat to dry. Skip the dryer and laying your pieces flat is important to retain the shape and structure. Take care of any pilling on the material. Use a fabric comb or brush. Pilling is going to be a result of Nike 4's unique construction and natural part of the material's life cycle. So that's a lot of information, but this is a really interesting move from Nike to create something uh, so minimalistic and simple, yet it has the Nike branding on it the way that we like it. Uh, I don't know if it's going to stick, to be honest. It's one of those things where, you know, less is more like they say, and I like the fact that they're doing things for the environment or doing stuff that actually just reduces waste, which is super important. But the care instructions for this is going to be very interesting because I'm not going to be able to leave this around for my wife to wash. She'll throw this in the hot, no no question. It's going to come out like this big. Uh, so I'm definitely going to make sure that I take care of it and, and do like all of the maintenance that I'm supposed to on it. I like the idea that there's no dryer and then you can lay it flat. Uh, the structure of the hoodie is something that's a little bit interesting as well. It's not very form-fitting. It's kind of boxy feeling when you wear it. Uh, and it's a little bit rigid. It's not very like soft. Like if you look at this hood, it's definitely big. It fits, uh, but it's not very form fitting. It kind of just floats in place and it kind of floats in place when you throw it back. It doesn't uh, have a lot of weight on it. And I think that's something uh, maybe to note. The other thing that's kind of interesting is the material itself. It kind of feels like an electronic bag or something like that, that you have electronics that, that come in and then like they made it with a bunch of different layers of that and now it's like thicker and like warm and stuff. It's a really weird sensation though because when you touch the material it's soft but it definitely has a look of something that you're familiar with and something that looks like it's more like upcycled more than necessarily something that's created from scratch from Nike. And you can see the intentional seam along the back is pretty cool. I like the embroidered Nike swoosh on the side and on the back it does have a Nike pinwheel of swooshes which is kind of nice it's embroidered on the back. You also have Thermofit ADV branding right above the cuff and the cuff is a little bit stretchy too which is nice. It's pretty cool to be able to look at the seams on the hoodie and just see the way that these things are laid out. It also does say tech pack on the back uh, of the uh, tag as well. Anyways, do I think this is going to replace Nike Tech Fleece? Nike Tech Fleece is kind of a staple uh, and I have a lot of it and I really, really prefer Nike Tech Fleece over this, but that doesn't mean this isn't something that I would really liked trying. In fact, when I did a review on the Nike Tech Knit years and years ago, I was like a bit critical of it because it was so incredibly expensive, like 250 for pants, I think, and, and then two plus for the hoodie as well. And all these years later, that Nike Tech Knit pants, I absolutely love. And then the Tech Knit hoodie 
hoodie I still wear on a regular basis as well. The downside is one of the pockets ripped and I need to get it replaced. But all in all, the Technit has lived longer than I expected it to, especially for the price point. It actually has been pretty nice. The Tech Fleece joggers are perfect. The hoodies are perfect. Some of you guys mentioned that you do get some pilling on it, but I haven't had that issue. But one thing I will say is the liner of the Tech Fleece is just better than a traditional hoodie, in my opinion, because the traditional hoodies definitely do get like more pilling. I've had a bunch of different Tech Fleece through the years. It's something I really appreciate. But it's nice to see Nike making evolutionary strides to do something different. And as soon as I saw they had this Nike Ford material, I was like, dude, I gotta check this out. See if it's durable and lasts and see if it's functional, see if it's warm, all those type of things. And all in all, I can tell just from wearing it a little bit, like it's definitely warm. I don't know about the durability of it just because the material is so different. And as I mentioned, it's kind of supposed to break in over time. Now sizing, I went with an extra large. That's usually the size I get for hoodies and that fits me just right. In my opinion, I like the way it looks and fits. And then just some information about the hoodie specifically, not the material. Nike Ford catapults your classic hoodie into the future. Unlike traditional knit fabrics, Nike Ford combines multiple thin layers of select fabrics for exceptionally lightweight feel. That's effortlessly warm and comfortable. Plus the first iteration of Nike Ford reduces the carbon footprint by an average of 75 percent due to the use of recycled materials lower process energy use and lower material density when used instead of traditional knit fleece materials in the color this says smoke gray heather light smoke gray and cool gray so it's like pretty much everything and then i just want to wear this a little bit and give you guys some updates and see how it actually wears over a little bit of time all right so i had a chance to wear this nike forward hoodie a lot more it's been like a month actually since i bought this thing and so i just wanted to give you guys some final thoughts on the product uh, for one, it's a lot warmer than I thought it was going to be. The Thermofit ADV or whatever that is, it's honestly something I didn't think would be super warm. I thought it was kind of more like lightweight, but it feels more like a fleece, really the way that this thing is lined. The hoodie definitely turns heads when you wear it. It's definitely different than anything else that I've seen on the market. It's different than Tech Fleece. It's different than Tech Knit. Uh, it has a really uh, fun feel to it and look to it, and a lot of people just want to just touch the material and see how it feels. Uh, and you know, I even picked up my, my kid from school and stuff and some of the moms were like, Hey, what? That's crazy. Can I touch that hoodie? It's like super weird looking. And so I got a lot of questions about it, but it's super warm and it's nice. It is a little bit boxy feeling and the fit is a little bit different, but honestly, it's something you just get used to as you're wearing it. I wore this uh, to Santa Monica. I wore it on the airplane and stuff. And even though it was kind of like boxy feeling, it's still really like pretty comfortable. And the price point is a little bit steep at a buck 60. But if you like new tech that Nike brings out, like I do, like anytime they have a new tech fleece or a new line of of clothing or apparel and whatnot, I'm very interested in it. And it's one of those things I'm, I'm happy that I that I ended up scooping up uh, what I did. I wouldn't get a crew. I really like the hoodie personally. I think the hoodie looks great. Um, I'm curious to see if they do other colors, like how it would work. But all in all, like it's really a, a nice uh, piece and a nice welcome addition. Uh, anyway, if you guys want to cop one, you can check the link in the description. Head over to Nike and get your own if they still have the sizes available. It'll be interesting to see. I'd love to see some sweatpants versions of this as well as like t-shirts and just whatever else they can make with it. But hopefully you guys have a good rest of the day. Thanks for stopping by and watching. Hopefully we'll see you guys back on the channel for some more uh, sneaker reviews and whatnot. Uh, have a good one. All right, peace guys.